This Australian boy looks dressed more for a holiday than a war zone, his arms struggling to hold the weight of a Syrian soldier's head. His father, Khaled Sharouf's proud exclamation, that's my boy, has prompted outrage from the Arabic community and pleas to the boy's mother. Help your son. Get him out of there. Look after him. Provide him with love. Provide him with support. Let him grow up to be the great young man that he has the potential to be. SBS asked Khaled Sharouf for an interview about why he's taken his children to jihad. He replied, Give me a good reason. Yous will always chuck in spices and turn people against Islam for a good story. But Australia's Muslim community says his actions don't represent them or Islam. Shame on Sharouf for what he has done to his kids, what he is doing to his community and what he is doing to his religions itself. Dr Jamal Rifi is a moderate voice, but he says the government isn't listening. Previously, we have engaged, we have interacted and we have developed some some program, a change of government doesn't mean that we need to reinvent the wheels in terms of de-radicalisation. The feeling among Sydney's Arabic community is that they're being left alone to try and convince marginalised young men not to go and fight, all the while government policy is increasingly alienating them. But just who the government should be talking to is a divisive issue. Many leaders, including the imams, are seen as out of touch. They, fought, they find themselves constantly on the wrong side of the table when it comes to these issues. The youth, uh, who are not very well connected to the leadership, see this, and a lot of them get very angry. When government thinks it's speaking to Muslims by speaking to their leaders, <coughs> it's actually not engaging the Muslim community at all. But by reaching out to alienated young men at risk, community leaders are making themselves a target. We're finding that our message is resonating quite well. Uh, to the extent that some of these people, uh, the, the recruiters, if you like, are getting very upset and they're sending uh, threats to us. Wissam Haddad, a jihad supporter and an old school friend of Sharouf's, didn't want to be identified, but he told SBS fighting a holy war is an obligation. Muslims is going there for the exact same uh, purpose while, while an Israeli Zionist is leaving Australia to, to, to do the same thing, and that's either to fight and protect the weak or, or, or to reclaim their land. A foreign war with serious challenges for Australia. Gary Cox. SBS World News.